Okay, so today we're going to be installing the Infinity Reference. This is the 6522iX. This is a 2018 Honda CRV. Um, I'm going to do this entire door install, um, show you guys how easy it is. There's going to be a list of the products I used in the description or in the review um, or in the description of this YouTube video. And um, you can find other YouTube videos on how to take apart the door. I'm going to do it real quick. Um, but so watch and learn and we'll get it figured out. First thing with the door, I'm using a plastic wedge. We're going to pop the window switch off. It's got a little press button, press, pop it off. Okay. Now that that's off, it exposes a screw. The screw's right here. I'm going to grab that screw, pop that guy out. All right. That's all set. Now the door is actually free. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to wrap my, I'm going to take my wedge, slide it in here, get a little bit of leverage. It's held on by clips. I'm going to unclip it. Now in the back of the door, there is, uh, the tweeter is hooked up right here. So I'm going to go ahead and pull that little push button. Pull that guy out. Door panel looks great. All right. So then we're going to be replacing this speaker with this infinity. And I'll show you why in just a second. So very first thing, pop that. Insert the wedge. The little adhesive there. Pull that. We'll grab this guy. Unplug it. Alright. Now, this is the stock Honda speaker. This is the Infinity. If you look up, look at it, you can see what the difference is um, in the uh, size of the obviously the size of the magnet and the efficiency of the speaker. So that's what we're doing. So once you get it like this. I'm going to go ahead and take this adapter again, description in the, or product in the description. So I'm going to take that. I'm going to plug this adapter into the infinity speaker. And this is so I don't have to cut or modify the, um, electrical system with my 2018 Honda. All right. So now that I got that done, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to mount the ring. Um, in order to mount the ring, we're gonna need some kind of sound deadening material behind it. I'm using this generic um, dead mat. So what I do for the dead mat is just kind of get a piece roughly bigger than the hole. I've got shears here, but this stuff will cut with scissors. The shears are just a little heavier. All right, so to do this efficiently, what we do is we press this over top. We can see that cut out. We can see the round. And then we'll press there so we can see where it fits. All right, so there, there. And now we're gonna cut this real quickly. And this, like I said, this video is continuous. So you guys can see how quickly you can get this done. See if you can beat me. And I'll give you $10, I'm kidding. All right, uh, I'm just gonna yeah, go ahead. What'd you say? Uh, yeah, you just gotta find me and prove it to me. Yeah, exactly. First. All right. uh, cut that out. All right, and these are two little clips, so I'm gonna clip these guys. Watch your fingers if you're using shears. Or scissors. Or scissors, scissors are fine. I just like the shears. They're easy to use. All right, so pop that. This is dead mat, so it's adhesive on the back. I'm gonna go ahead and do this. I'm gonna stick that guy right. There, like so. So you just gotta keep the original mounting points uncovered because we're about to use this again. So now I'll just fasten down the dead mat real quickly. And I'm using the dead mat because um, you could use a foam ring right around this area right here um, just to keep the adapter ring from vibrating. 
but I'm just using dead mat. It's acoustically stable, so um, I'm gonna use that. So on these doors, I do use this. On the front doors, you can't use this, but on the back door, oh, and the front doors are the same. The plugs are a little different when you take the panel off. I do use this um, sound damper. I'm just gonna take this sound damper. I'm gonna cram it in the hole, and I'm just gonna stick it behind the speaker in case there's any sound that gets out. There probably won't be because we're using a speaker cup, but I'm just gonna go ahead and stick it in there if that doesn't hurt anything. Um, okay, next thing is the mounting bracket. So you just put the bottom on, top, that guy back in there all right uh, now we're gonna take the cup just clip a little piece out of the cup all right so we did that so that we can get this guy through here so now we're gonna put the tail through the hole in the cup that's how that fits and then this floats through here you're definitely wearing an appropriate t-shirt for this tutorial. Oh yeah, definitely. All right, so we got that. And so some of these holes are small enough. So I've got these screws. So I'm gonna go ahead and figure out which hole these screws go in. I think it's this one. Yeah, that's the one, okay. All right, so there's two short screws, two long screws. You'll see what we do with those in a sec. So I'm gonna just take that, cram that in there. This guy just gets pressed in. And a lot of this is gonna hang out. This cup won't go all the way in. So we're actually gonna kind of pull on the edges of the cup. So we're not gonna push the cup all the way in because the cup is actually a little too deep for the mount. So uh, just gonna clock the speaker until we find the correct hole, which is right there there. The speaker does have a little, um, um, for the crossover, to adjust the volume of the crossover, a little button in the middle. I set mine at zero because the, um, the Honda CRV, even the stock one has tweeters in the door. All right, so now I'm going to throw this in here. This one. So for the other, well now three, but I thought I thought I only had to drill two, but I'm gonna drill three. So for now this one, there's nothing behind there. There's no, there's nothing behind there but metal. So one. What are you doing next? Two. Um, so we got these longer screws, and I don't trust the plastic ring. So what I'm actually doing is I just drilled a couple little holes, little tiny pilot holes in the door panel so I can use these longer screws and fasten the whole mount and the speaker actually into the door instead of just into the plastic ring. So Much like safer. I, well, I don't trust it. Yeah, it'll keep it from rattling. That one's in. And like I said, this is my third or fourth door, so I'm good at this because I've been practicing. Hey, there we go. All right, so now I got the cup in. Everything looks good. Don't forget to plug the speaker into the back. And now, just real quickly, I'm gonna test to make sure- So we got the foam in. So yeah, the, the cup is in, the speaker is very solid, so there's not gonna be any rattle. So now I've got this acoustic isolation foam. More sticky. 
This is the last bit of the speaker install, and then we put the door panel back together. So Easy. As soon as I can peel this tape. Do you want me to get it? Yeah, I got it. Perfect. All right, so just be careful not to get it on the speaker cone. It's sized correctly for a six and a half inch speaker. If you get it down onto the speaker suspension, it might cause a little problem. So, all right. So there's the finished install of the speaker. Looks good. Take the door. And let's see, so all we have to plug back in is the tweeter and the window. And I checked that the plug, I can never remember, and I always want to double check my work. So I reached back in here and I pulled down the plug and I checked to make sure that the plug was plugged in to the back of the speaker. Because like I said, I always want to check my work. Um, and it is. Hate to put the door back on and not have it plugged in. Exactly. Because then you gotta spend two minutes getting it oil or less. Alright. So there. That's all good. Alright. So now we got the old speaker out, the new speaker in. Pop the door on. So the only so remember I said we gotta plug in the plug in the tweeter. Pull the Make sure that that guy lines up. All these line up, and Honda made these doors so easy to pull to get on and off. I love this design. So just kind of line it up because you got just push bins to go in. It's going to be a little tight right around here um, because we put extra material around the door or in the door for the speaker, but it actually fits really. All right. Just got to be aggressive. Yeah, be aggressive. All right, we take this. Don't forget the screw. Because then the door handle, the okay. door will come out. Right there. Done. And window switch. Uh, click. Done. Done. And install Looks complete. like a door. There you go. Bam, all done. So I think that took about, I don't know, less than 10 minutes. So there you go. I guess we'll see. Um, maybe next time I'll do the subwoofer. I've already got one in, so I'm just gonna do a second one. But anyway, there you go.